Hey, how is it going everyone? This is Cray and welcome back to another Summoner's War Siege Battle. So currently we are at G1 because on the opening week itself we lost to the GOAT VRK1. And then for the second match I didn't play mainly because we had a new roster. So just gonna let the newer players to get their swords in as well. And today we are in G1 because they lost that match as well. So, flying all the way down, we'll just take a look at some of these defenses here. Okay, not really much of LDs from what I'm seeing, coming out from the Red Guild. Can't read their Chinese name, however. So, Chi Tian Dunxing, El Sharion F2P unit. Okay, we are just gonna reserve this one because, yet again, I think G1 Siege, we can just fight. Uh, this one, Chiana, Liu Mei, Vigors for their net force. Oh, okay. Pretty interesting coming off from Milk. They do have a lot of LDs and all usable ones as well. Right off the bat, we are just gonna be fighting the more Cheongpong and the Chi Tian Dunching. So this time we are gonna play something fun. A unit that we've never used for a really, really long time since we got it actually. The Smicer. So Smicer also getting some slight buff onto the passive. Let's see whether it's pretty decent now. I am not sure. Okay, we didn't land the stun, but we at least got the bomb off. But no attack buff bomb. I'm not sure how much it deals. Probably around 15 to 16k. That's what I feel. Okay. Yeah, Smicer is only good when it's around like 2v3 or 1v3 kind of situations where your passive will always be reducing the opponent's attack bar, right? So I'm not really sure how much bomb damage it dealt onto that Chi Tian Dunching earlier. Didn't really pay attention. So we reduced the attack bar of that Cheongpong for about 20%. We also get the silence of two turns. Yeah, that's the huge part that Smicer got in terms of the buff. So we are just slowly working on to this Chi Tian Dunching. But if only the bomb, the second skill comes online like really quickly, right? So apart from the second skill, the normal attack doesn't really do too much. Oh my god, double resistance. <laughs> oh no. But yet again, this team very safe, right? Because... Everything likely will be hitting my Abelio. My Puppeteer seems pretty solid. We're just gonna stay on the Drid form so that we get to heal up a little bit every single time we get the turn on, right? So let's see here. Just normal attack. Nice stun onto the Cheongpong with the silence as well. Come on. Okay, bomb landed. Let's go. So I wanna see what is the bomb damage. I didn't pay attention earlier. But yeah, like you can see now, when it's 2v3 kind of situation, the control coming out from the passive is actually pretty decent from Smicer. Yeah, whenever you violent proc as well, that's 40%-ish. Oh shit, I missed the bomb damage again. <laughs> 16k, okay. So with that in mind, we do have bomb damage around like 20% on the Smicer. But yet again, I'm running Smicer on a speed HP HP build. So not too shabby. We'll be fighting Milk Snap for defense. And I think this one no-brainer. Just go for the Lucian Cleave. As long as we are faster than them. Alright. Just go for the Curse music. We boost up our Lucian. This should kill everything. Yep. Simple Cleave. I feel like playing Momo this time, so we are gonna go with Riley and Rina over here. Rina is basically gonna be soaking up all of the damage coming out from the opening. Obviously, most of the time, I just use Dominic in that slot for the Momo. But let's just give her a try, right? Because yet again, she does have Destroy Runes on herself. So when they don't have immunity, if we land armor break, a couple of violent procs, the destroy will definitely kick in. Oh, but are we not taking a lot of damage though? Yeah, we gotta do this now. Cleanse the heal block away. Okay. Looks pretty scary though. I'm afraid that my Rina might actually die, you know. 
But with Riley's heal, pretty decent there. How are they landing all their debuffs onto Myrina? We have 100% resistance. Okay, I'll take all these additional turns. <laughs> the healer is dead. That is so important because I think if we didn't kill her right there and then, she does have the third skill again. Or being annoying with the second skill invincibility buff and whatnot. So we just gotta press the auto button onto the mouse. Mouse goes down and there won't be anything that Dominic can do because I don't think Dominic can go through the arena. You already know what it is. Whenever we see the Sierra Gianna, I am always going to be bringing in this team because Jotun, very good against two of the Oracles, Perna and Samoth, basically got two lives. We shouldn't die so easily, right? So Critical Error comes, gets the stun off onto my Perna. That's not cool. With the slow debuff as well, our Perna won't be moving much. Yeah, 30% slower. Samoth's Passive already propped, but thankfully we got the stun off onto the Sierra. Okay, armor break landed, but our Perna couldn't follow up because of the slow debuff. That's not too good, but Sierra drops already, which is very nice. Gets the provoke onto my Perna, but it's fine because Perna does have two lives. That's the beauty of it. And our Jotan is still here for some safety measures, right? So let's just remove the Gianna. And our Samaf likely will have the passive again, but we don't even need it. It's time to face this Chandra, Shazam, and the Fae. So running this team, I feel like we should be faster than the opponent, right? If we are, then we strip stun? Bro, no stun, man. Okay, very important. We need to provoke the Fae, please. Oh no, we didn't get it. Push back. Alright, at least we got the two armor breaks off onto the opponent. Faye goes down already, which is very good. But I haven't seen my more stun yet. Yeah, we have this spare, by the way. <laughs> oh no. Okay, Shazam's heal is coming. So only a 15k heal onto the Chandra. We'll take it. Guess the additional turn. We got the slow debuff. Still no stun, bro. Come on, man. Earlier, you couldn't even strip the Shazam. And you have, like, what? 100% accuracy? By the way, bruh, useless unit. <laughs> oh, I don't understand. Yeah, my Moor didn't do anything in this fight. Ah, oh, but thankfully, Porjanya and the Savannah did the controls. My Savannah had 0% accuracy, by the way. And apparently landing armor breaks easier than getting the strips from more. It's Cleave City again, and we are gonna go with the Galantiana and Poseidon. Because yet again, there's no way they outspeed me, right? Oh, that was close. <laughs> the Yonhong very fast. Okay, armor break landed onto everyone. Poseidon, you one drop. Push back. Oh my god. Triple non pushback, bruh. Are you serious now? Wait. Okay, we armor break the Yon Hong. We got the sweeping waves. Molong dies. This Yon Hong no violent proc. Very nice. She goes down. I feel like bringing in this lineup against the Kakano Taranis and the Praha. Very long, never really fought this kind of defense, but let's try. I guess you could also run Memphisto just to counter the Taranis passive, but Kakano is in play, so we don't want to really take a risk. Just going full water should do the trick. We got the strip off onto the Kakano. Now we can heal or just normal attack. I feel like normal attacking first. Don't really need to use any skills. <sighs> Should've just healed, man. <laughs> oh, I didn't expect the Kakano to Violent Proc into a crit. Jesus Christ. Man. That was so unlucky. Oh, you should have been glancing my water unit, bro. Oh man, now our damage dealer is gone. Yeah, I need to heavily rely onto our Josephine, you know. 
Oh shit! <laughs> Unlucky. Ah oh, man. But kudos to his Kakano. Good runes. If he can crit water means the crit rate is high. Ah, uh, yet again. There's a few things that I could have done after we got the strip off onto the Kakano's wheel, right? I could have just healed up. Then our Josephine gets a turn. Control the Kakano or something. Ah oh, man. But yeah, our Chandra soul on HP already. Can we still win this one? I am not sure though. If we kill the Kakano in time, we could. Oh, but he violent procs into a wall blow. Now we don't have any heals. Man. This is rough. Can't even get the strip onto the Tyranus, but we'll take that stun. So now the sleep comes, our Chandra last hit. Praha got no heals yet for two turns. Basically, GG. There's no way to sustain our Chandra now. Because my Pra is on despair. So yeah. Kudos to his defense. We're just gonna quit this one. Now we have to face the Dominic Beta and the Rakan. Just gonna bring in the cheat code lineup. Our Gianna, Nora, and Ember. Usually pretty good against this kind of defense, right? So we got to provoke one turn and the bomb two turns onto the beta. Means two turns she's not gonna be moving. And I'm pretty sure the bomb damage is sufficient, but I just want to play it safe, alright? Uh, we'll use Ember's damage onto the beta because that's gonna be big damage done. And do we cut the Rakan? That is the question. If we do, then we can place a bomb. Alright. So Rakan is gonna do the thing into the kill. <laughs> yeah, he just suicide and Dominic will drop to the dot as well. Now we'll be fighting another Nat 4 variant, the Trasar, Skogol, and Lulu. I remember using this lineup before we actually lost because the Lulu resisted everything. But from what I'm seeing on this guy, his Lulu so slow. I think no runes. <laughs> Yeah, because there's no way Alucia's third skill damage did like what? Quarter HP of that unit? Pretty sure there's no runes onto the Lulu. No complaints though, I'll take it. Any free win I can get. I need the confidence boost, you know? Because against God, we kind of lost like three times. <laughs> and it was always against Nat 4. Yeah, I need to improve my offenses when I'm fighting net 4 defenses because yet again, I can't rely on the net 5s. So Skogol will drop here on to the last sword. For the final one, I feel like playing our Ophelia and bring in Iris as well with our Tilmars doing the damage. Yet again, up against a tri-element kind of comp. So the monkey probably will be always aiming my Tilmars but that's the reason why I bring in Ophelia here, right? So that we get the threat state up. So Praha already getting the heal off on the first turn. That's a lot of damage done by our Tilmars. Okay, can we strip stun? Nothing. Alright. Oh. I don't really like that Oblivion onto my Iris though. It means that we won't be able to heal, so we kind of need to put this up. Our Tilmars got stunned up as well. Do we have the threat state? Oh man. Yeah, the Tessorian is so annoying. Facing Oblivion every single time. Come on, come on. We kill the Praha first. Then I want to work on to either the monkey. Because... Yet again, Monkey seems pretty annoying with all the revenge. Okay, additional turn, additional turn is fine. We are still very healthy in terms of HP. Can we one-shot this guy? Very close. Come on, good counter stun. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, you can Oblivion me up, but then we are still gonna do AoE damage anyways. We are just not getting heals. I think it's fine. Now we can place the Cry of Threat once again. So we got immunity all around. We can cleanse our Tilmars as well. Just try to finish up the fire, uh, the Wind Monkey first because he's getting pretty annoying. 
So another round of stun on to the Tassarion, which is very good. And there won't be anything the Tassarion can do now because 3 turns threat state. He's forced to hit it 3 times. There's no more teammate involved with him already. And this should do the trick. So at the end of the day, we did get 9 out of 10 in terms of our wins. The siege battle has finally ended and we got 186 crystals followed by 609 guild points. Oh, G1 siege, not bad. <laughs> you actually get so much guild points. So here is the map layout at the end of that fight. We got first place followed by milk at second and the Chinese guild coming in third. Yeah, that Chinese guild actually had Mr. Chong, which is the 2020 SWC World Final Champion. So yeah, pretty interesting. He's like chilling in this guild. <laughs> uh, let's open up this box. Ooh! Hey, S box even better than Triple S? Bruh, sign me up for G1 matches. <laughs> yeah, one guy also got LD scroll. Oh, not too bad, not too bad. I like it. So that's the end of this one. If you do enjoy this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And also, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing as it helps out the channel a ton. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.